Sana introduced a new approach to installing and configuring the add-ons and design packs. With Sana apps, installing the add-ons and design packs is now as simple as installing an app on a smartphone. Sana apps is the best place to discover all Sana add-ons and design packs and to find the right app for your business needs. At first, I would like to mention a few important points that you should know about Sana apps. To use Sana apps, you must have a valid Sana license for your web store domains even if you install Sana on the test environment using a local host domain or some other local domain or you use Sana Commerce SDK to customize the Sana project, you will still need a valid Sana license. Otherwise, you will not be able to use Sana apps. For your own safety, we have implemented a number of precautions which depend on whether you have a standard Sana product or a customized project. Sana customers running on the standard Sana product can install, configure, update and remove the Sana add-ons and design packs themselves directly in Sana Admin whenever they want. Those Sana customers who have a customized Sana project can access Sana apps to see all available Sana add-ons and design packs, but they cannot install, update or remove the add-ons or design packs themselves not to break the customized functionality. They need to contact the Asana project manager or Asana partner if they want to install some add-on or design pack. Asana Web Store Administrator can disable installing, removing, updating and uploading the Asana add-ons and design packs when Asana is installed on the customer's environment. This is done so that the user cannot accidentally delete or update the add-on or design pack. For example, here you can see that it's not possible to install and remove the add-ons, but a user can only configure the installed add-ons, enable and disable them. To make sure that no user who has access to Sana Admin will not upload some broken design pack or add-on or some package with the malicious code, uploading of add-ons and design packs can be also disabled. For example, here you can see that a user cannot upload the add-ons. It's also possible to hide the tab Upload add-ons. The same can be done for design packs. A system administrator can disable installing, updating, removing and uploading design packs. Therefore, if you don't have permissions to install, remove, update or upload the add-ons and design packs, you should contact the person who is responsible for your web store maintenance or hosting. This can be your Sana project manager or partner. So, if you have permissions, then using Sana apps you can install, update, configure and remove the add-ons and design packs. You can see the version of the add-on. If a new version of the add-on or design pack is available, you will see the update button. When you install the add-on, it will appear on all tabs. So you can enable, disable, configure and remove the installed add-on from any tab. If you have multiple web stores running on a single Sana installation and you install an add-on or a design pack, it will be available for all your web stores, but you need to configure it for each web store individually. Some add-ons have global settings like payment and delivery services, which can be configured on the add-ons page when you install the add-on. Other add-ons like content elements don't have global settings, so they can be installed and then added to the pages. When you install any payment or delivery service add-on, you can configure its global settings on any tab of the add-ons page by clicking on the Configure button. Then you can create shipping or payment methods. The installed delivery and payment services will be available there. Content elements don't have global settings, therefore you can't configure them directly on the add-ons page. When you install a content element add-on, you will be able to add it to any page in Sana Admin and manage its settings and content. In Sana Apps, on any tab of the add-ons page, you can enable and disable the installed add-on. When you disable the add-on, all its elements like payment or shipping methods or content elements will be deactivated and will not be shown in the web store. 
Design paths are used to change the look and feel of your web store. It can contain a store layout, page layouts, and theme. You can install, update, and remove design paths just in the same way as add-ons, if you have permissions. When you install the design path, you can see and activate the store layout, page layouts, and the theme added with the design path on the design page. With Sun Apps, you can remove any add-on or design pack with a single button click, but there are several precautions for your own safety. When you remove an add-on, all its elements like payment or shipping methods or content elements created for this add-on will be also removed. But if you install the add-on again, all its elements will be automatically restored. This is done in case a user removed the add-on accidentally. You cannot remove a design pack if its layout is applied to your web store because it can break your web store design. To remove the design pack, you must first switch to the default store layout or some other layout. The last thing I would like to tell you about in this demo is about custom add-ons and design packs. Sana has detailed partners, Sana project teams and other companies can create any add-on or design pack, then upload or install it on the customer's environment directly in Sana Admin. This reduces the need to customize the Sana framework. All custom add-ons and design packs are not shared in Sana apps to all users. The custom add-ons or design pack can be implemented for a certain project and installed on the customer's environment. In Sun Apps, all customers and partners can see only the standard official Sun add-ons and design packs. Custom add-ons and design packs, which are unofficial apps created by other companies but not by Sana, are outside of our control. Thus, Sana cannot be responsible for them.